What's up guys, it's Chellers and welcome back to another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Boston Bruins. So in the last episode, we went through the year one regular season up until the trade deadline. As you can see, we must set up a record of 34-21-7. Good for a third place in our division. <clears throat> um, if you look at our team leaders in points, Brad Marchand leads the team with 68 points in 62 games. Uh, I wonder where we're using the whole NHL. Watch, check that right now. But... Um, yeah, so, so basically what we want to do is we want to stop the trade deadline to see if we should make a deadline move. So Marshall is actually second in points, one behind OV with one game in hand. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. So he could actually go for that Art Ross, uh, for, the, for the Art Ross trophy. So yeah, what I want to do is, what I want to address is an, uh, another second line forward that could grow a bit more, that could, that's a higher, uh, like a mid to high overall to play alongside Krejci for this year. And... There was one guy I was looking at, which was, uh, well, there were three guys we had in mind. It was, I believe, um, Anders Lee, Jordan Eberle, and Mike Hoffman. <clears throat> now, I was looking at Hoffman as an interesting one, but as you can see, looking at our contract situation, we're going to have, uh, let's go to Chara for extension. Next year, we're going to be having $5.2 million in cap, and I think that's, I'm not sure if that's with or without the, uh, if the cap increases, but if it is, we're going to have $6 million in, uh, wait, wait was it $6 million? We're gonna have five million dollars in cap hit, so we can't even afford to to have um, to keep Hoffman for another year because he has two years left in his contract, whereas the other two are uh, are um, UFAs after this year. And if you look, we have to resign guys like Johansson, Carlo, uh, Danton Heinen, and Zdeno Chara. So the best option would be to trade for a rental, a one year guy, and see how we could build off from there. Or, best case scenario would be if we would get Hoffman, we would have to flip uh, David Backus on the other side. So, if we'll go, let's go to Florida. And let's throw in Hoffman. So, they want to trade him. He's 84 overall, 29 years old, which is actually pretty solid. 5.1 million for another year for an 84 overall is not terrible. So, if we can add in Backus. And now, let's let's give like a first rounder. Because we're for sure gonna have to give up the first rounder. So this straight up, would this go through? You can see the bad news is they don't want to. They don't want uh, Bacchus's contract. So I think the best move would probably be to retain salary on Bacchus and get a rental. I think that's maybe the main our our best goal. Because Hoffman, let's see. If we resign Chara, we're not gonna have enough money left to resign Carlo and um, Carlo and Heinen. And Johansson, we're gonna have to let probably Johansson go. Uh, and I probably want, I want to keep Chara if he stays in as an 85 overall at the end of the playoffs. So let's look at the Islanders and try and get um, uh, who has more. So Everly and Leeds are on the same value, they're the same age, same overall. Uh, Contra does not matter at all. So I think who's the better who's the better goal scorer? Eberle has. Oh yeah, 88, 90, 90, 88 versus Lee. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so they're, they're about, Anders is a better shooter. 87 offensive awareness for Lee, 89 for Eberle, 90 passing for Eberle, Lee has 86. I think Eberle is the best option. So I think, should we do this kind of trade? Let's let's do the back case and we'll try and throw in a second round pick. Uh, oh, we don't have a second round pick. Or we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do this year's first, yeah. So let's see if this trade goes through. Rejected. Alright, so let's retain a bit of back of salary. So we'll go one mil and see what happens. Oops, it's 950. Uh there you go. One mil. Proposed trade. Rejected. Okay, how about 1.5 mil? Rejected. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Two million. Still rejected. Man, I don't want to give. Okay, we'll do two point five and then three million. If it doesn't work, we'll just do the first round pick. And I don't know. I think we have to probably buy out Bacchus or maybe send him on to the miners. Three million rejected. All right. So that doesn't work. So we'll do a first rounder and we'll take some. Do we have any anyone else? Actually, maybe we could get we could get Lee also. Hey, that would be a pretty good idea. Getting Lee and uh, and Abrile, and we just trade away a prospect back. Because they both have one you left, so we won't have to resign them also. And we'll just give them back like a an okay, like a decent prospect. So let's go rookie skaters. 
Um, not Senator, maybe, um, oof, we don't have much to give for a uh, rookie. Okay, wait, let me, go, let me go back on the all skaters. Um, Coil, no, DeBrusque, no, I want to keep, I want to keep these prospects. Maybe Bjork, maybe either Bjork or Senator. I think if we, here, if we do Senator, um, I'm just trying to think. Alright, so if we do if we would do Senishin and let's say like um who's like a pretty and, and Lauko. Would this trade go through? Yes, alright, okay, there you go. So you gave up a lot to give a first round pick Senishin and Jakob Lauko, but we got two so 84 overall rentals for this year. Now we're gonna, we're gonna have to make a tough choice, and I and I think I think what we might have to do is since we have waivers, I could try and make uh, send them through waivers, send back is down through waivers. So how many forwards do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if we send on Bacchus, um we you must clear waivers. So let's see. Can someone claim him? If we want to do the system. No, no one claimed Bacchus. Okay, and how about uh, Wagner? Wagner has to clear waivers. Um, yeah, let's send Wagner down. Hopefully he clears. Let's see in the system. Yeah, Wagner cleared. All right. So that's good. Let's go to our edit lines and we'll fix our, our lines right now. So <clears throat> we will move down Johans to the third line. And the brusque, how's he doing? Yeah, we'll send that. We'll move him down also. We'll put Heinen on the on the fourth line, alongside of Corrali and Nordstrom. So what's Heinen's face off? Seventy six, Nordstrom seventy three, Corrali seventy three. Also, so Heinen will be the center. And now we'll put left wing will be Anders Lee. And right wing will be Jordan Eberle. All right, so just like that, we boosted up our our whole offensive core. Lowest overall being seventy seven, but look at that top six. 90, 90, 89, 84, 85, 84, 82, 83, 83. Look at that. That top nine looks really solid now. Defense is still still decent, you know. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Grizzlick and Miller being plus 24 and 23. Because um, I remember last year in Grizzlick's rookie year, I think it was a plus 26. So they really got that close. Chara's a plus 3. Carlos a plus 1. Krug's a plus 3. And Mac plus six now our offense besides Krug was 36 points in 62 games which is pretty decent our, our defense is getting much points but that's okay because that first line is so good you know Patrice Bergeron has uh, 60 points Pasternak has um 50 something and Marshawn 68 I mean that first line is just solid now we boost up the second line let's fix our power play so we'll keep the brusque for now I guess we'll put uh We'll take out, uh, we'll put Eberle instead of Coil, move him there, and we'll put Lee instead of Johansson. Uh, where's, there's Lee, okay, so now our our, uh, our power play is a lot better, our second power play. Formal power play, we'll keep it as is. Actually, oh, no, 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 we'll put, um, we'll put, we'll put Eberle on the, on the, the, on defense over here, yeah. Yeah, that's the right move, Eberle. Playing with Marshawn Bergeron Krug on the power play. Penalty kill, we'll keep it as is. We'll leave McAvoy playing with the Brusque. Uh, extras, alright, here we go. So, yes, form for continue, we'll put, um, we'll keep Coil. And then over here, we'll put, uh, we'll put Eberle. Three on three, so we'll take out Passionac and we'll put in Eberle. Come on, there you go. And goalies, it stays good. Uh, anything else for three on three? Extra attackers, should have no, it's good. Goalie is scratched. We have no one scratched, no one, no lines. Now we'll now go to our farm team, and we'll do, we'll do best lines. So back is playing with Bjork. So who's our? So Frederick. We'll put Frederick on the second line. For Zach Carlson, we'll be playing third line with Solaric. Wagner's there. Max Jones. We'll put Max Jones to the first line, onto the second line. Uh, do we have any any other? Uh, that's a good defense, actually. So Lauzon's Boril, yep. Vakanainen's there, perfect. 
Uh, who scratched? Fitzgerald, uh, we should play in. Anyone else? I think it was just Fitzgerald, right? Finton, Hughes, yeah, Hughes and Fitzgerald. So we're, we're gonna play both of them. So we're both centers. So we'll take out bleed. Center. Oops, that's when you're gonna go. Uh, center, there you go. We'll put in Fitzgerald. And what's his face offs? 70, so we'll, we'll leave my wing. And we'll take out, uh, we'll take out Schwarz and put in Hughes. Yeah, there you go. So now we'll put, we have in a 78, 80, and we'll put Max Jones. Uh, yeah, I'll put Max Jones as the right wing in the first line. We'll put Frederick, Stepniak, and, uh, and we'll, and we'll keep carry. Then we'll put Forsback Carlson. We'll do Fitzgerald, Hughes. Uh, sorry, Fitzgerald, Forsback Carlson, Salaric, and Hughes, Jamal Smith, and Chris Wagner. All right, that's that's that. We'll go to our back to our NHL team and let's keep the simulation going. So now we're listed as champions still, but we're looking a lot better. You know, we, we have the offense there. So if we go on our team stats, we gotta follow. We gotta pay attention to this. All right. So Boston Bruins, our goals for per game is two point eighty one. We have to make that, let's see if that increases to like three or a bit more. Maybe it was like, it would be perfect. Sorry there. A little bit of a slur. <laughs> uh, so let's go. We are against San Jose, Tampa, New Jersey. Any, any auto wins? Let's see. Any games we should, we should uh, take. New Jersey, Ottawa. Carolina, Florida should be a win also. Pittsburgh's a good team. Columbus is good. Winnipeg's good. Florida again, New Jersey again, the Islanders. Uh, Rangers are a good team. Florida again, Minnesota, not Minnesota's good. Detroit. And that and that's it. All right, so we'll simulate for the rest of this the, the regular season. We'll go until the end of April. And let's see how this new team does. Oh, 7-2 win, are looking good. 6-2 loss though, but we scored nine goals in two games. 6-2 win, Carolina, 4-2 win, all right, Florida. 4-2 loss, okay. Uh, Ottawa, we gotta be Ottawa. 4-2 win, we win 5-2. So look at that, the offense is blooming. Five goals, four goals, another win. Columbus again, four goals. So yeah, we're scoring tons of goals now. 7-2-6-4-2-4-5-5-4-4. Let's look at the draft class now. See any any guys that are uh, compared to, le to like legends or something. So here's Jack Hughes, the Backstrom, Thornton for Kako, Carter, Hedman, Chara, Burns, let's see, anyone else, Vlasic, Marlowe, um, there was one we had already, Tarasenko, we had pinned one already, I believe, right, Weber, yeah, it was this one, it was this guy, right, McGrann, oh, and Nolan, yeah, McGrann, yeah, so we already have him, anyone else, Ma oh, here you go, Al McKinnis, defenseman, that's good, Oh, threeth overall pick. Maybe we should have kept our first round pick. That's a solid right-handed defenseman, which you don't we don't have uh, much of in the prospect pool. I think that's it, eh? McDonough. Weber. Echo. My, oh, another McKinnis. Here you go. Kana uh Artem Artemi Kanaizev. We'll take him with, uh, we'll try and get a second round pick. It might be a good idea. Maybe he drops. I don't know. We have a third this year, right? So let's see. Anyone else? Sergey Gonchar, right? Here's another one. He's medium. He's, we already know he's a top four uh, potential. Medium top four. Anyone else? I think that's it. Yeah, we're in the 70s now. Right, that's it. So let's keep the simulation going. That's the Islanders, the team we took their players from. Win 5-2. New Jersey, we lose 4-1, all right. Florida, we win 4-2, perfect. Tampa Bay, we lose 6-1. Yeah, but Tampa is the best team in the league, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we lose 2-0 to the Rangers now. We got a bounce back versus Florida now. There we go, 4-3, 4-1 win. We can get 50, but we could get 48. Oh, never mind, shoot, I lost. Dallas came to Tampa Bay, we lose. Okay, so we stumble in the play in the last uh, stretch with uh, two losses, but 46-28-8. Very good, very solid performance.
Let's see. So Marshawn finished with 87 points and 44 goals, second in division with uh, 100 points. Tampa Bay with 99. Also, Toronto won the, won the first place with 103. Is that the President's Trophy? St. Louis with 49. No, I think St. Louis has the President's Trophy because they have more wins. They mostly have more res regulation overtime wins. But overall, what is that? Fifth? So first, second, third, fourth. Yeah, we're the fifth best team in the NHL. 87 points for Brad Marchand. We'll see how uh, our team has done. 76 for, for Patrice Bergeron, 74 for David Pasternak. So that first line is lights out. Eberle finished with 27 goals and 59 points. Uh, I don't remember what he had. If someone could let me know what how many points he had, that would be really good. But he killed it with points. Krejci with 52 points. Nice for a second liner. Uh, Anders Lee with 51 points. Perfect. Coyle, 49 points. Very good for a third liner. Krug with 44 points. Nice. Johansson, 39 points. Nice. DeBrusque with 35 Heinen 27, Grizzly plus 33 with 22 points. Very nice. He should grow a bit more in the offseason. He's 25 years old. McAvoy, did he grow? No, he got 25 points. Shara with 20. Still 85 overall. Crowley 17. Yep, yep. All right, goalies. How have our goalies done? Tukaras, yep, yeah, this is not Vezina winning. 914 save percentage for Tukaras, 36, 24, and 5 with 7 shutouts. Halak with a 917 save percentage. Average. That's what, he, that's what we did. We did average in defense. So let's see. Overall, we'll see how our how much our offense has increased. So we went from 2.81 to 2.98. So our goals for definitely went up. We are now fourth in the league in goals for. And goals against, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th in the league. So we definitely took a plumb there. We are like 2.4, I believe. Power play uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve penalty kill oh 80.9 yeah i dropped a lot uh we're about uh like 15 let's say like the middle of the pack so our even strength is what's really carrying us that's definitely what it is all right so we're a good team we could win the cup we have tons of high rated players we have depth now we have points we have goaltending you know, 90 overall to Karask. We have um, not, we don't have a high overall defenseman, but McAvoy will grow into that next year. And he is solid. Krug is a good offensive defenseman. Let's look at the progress reports. Who has grown? All right, let's click on modifiers. All right, so Grizzly grew to an 80 overall. We saw that. The Bruz grew. Carlo. Heinen's an 81 overall. Offensive runners grew naturally. Defensive runners grew naturally. Yeah, this guy could be, uh, Heinen could be our third liner. For for the future, definitely. His role, his role now is a third line. We're playing on the fourth line. In the system, has anyone grown more? Stanika, 73 overalls. Burles is 75 still. Frederick still 75. Vakanainen's a 75. Now he grew one overall from uh, from the deadline. Jones grew one overall to the, from the deadline to a 73. Lausan is still a 76. Forsback and Carlson grew one overall. Bjork is still a 78. And I think that, yeah, that's it. All right. So we had some good growth from our young guys. Actually, wait, what's uh, Stanika? What's uh, what overall is he now? Was it 73? Hold on. Modify. Yeah, 73 overall. So I say not next year, but in year number three, Stanika, Zboril, maybe Frederick, Vakaninen. You know, all these guys are... Could make the NHL in two years, which is really good. We got a nice influx of players. That means that we probably have to do one more year of rentals. And then after that, we just focus on our team of just building strong. And um, yeah, that's solid. After, but however, after this year, I think we should keep our first round picks to get more prospects, get some elite guys. Anyway, so we're mostly going to be, going to be playing Tampa Bay in the first round. And I think we've lost every single time versus them in the season. And yeah, there you go. The Tampa Bay Lightning will be playing in the first round of NHL uh, year one playoffs. So overall, you know, very good, uh, very good episode. You know, we got some uh, good things done. Let's actually look at our, um, at Marshawn's, uh, did he win the Art Ross? I don't think 87 points is Art Ross worthy, but let's, uh, let's see. So entire league. And no, he finished one, two, three, four, five, sixth in points at 87. 
Ovechkin won with 94 points, oof, and 55 goals. So that's the uh, Mercy Shard. Also, Marshall finished fourth in goals. And he finished one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he finished down there. There's passing like a Bergeron each with 50 plus assists. So that's really good from them. Bergeron, I believe that's a career high for him at 33 years old. So very nice to see. Pasternak, uh, that's not a career high. His career has 80 points. And I'm pretty sure uh, we can actually check, right? Uh, he set a career high in assists. All right, so he has a new high in assists, but in goals is still 35 and points is still 80. So let's uh, let's see defensemen. How many points did Krug get compared to all the other defensemen? Krug, yeah, he's not even top 10. He finished. Yeah, there's Krug. Yeah, well, he's not uh, like these guys are all, you know, Yandel's, well, Yandel, 85 overall, but Shattenkirk's 84. Oh, wow. So these guys, uh, here you go, Dowdy, Carlson, Subban, Hedman, Riley even, Klingberg, these are all high-rated guys. Krug is not at that, uh, that overall yet. His offense is really good, but I feel like they all have like in the, the, the a bit more in the 90s. So like, for instance, Burns, 91 passing, 92 offensive awareness. Uh, Klingberg, 93 passing, 91 offensive awareness. Morgan Riley. Yes, they'll have higher offensive stats. Hedman. Hedman's actually a bit worse. He's actually like the same thing as Krug, but he's also better everywhere else. And again, look, Subban. Yep, Subban's better. Carlson's better. Dowdy, better. Schattenkirk? Even Shattenkirk is better than an offense than Krug, and Yandel, even Yandel, by a bit. So, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. We have, um, hopefully, Bergeron wins the Selkie this year. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for some more content, and I'll see you guys in the playoffs.